Hello and welcome to War of the Spark Sealed. Um, this is the first one I'm going to do on MTGO. If you're interested in watching on Arena, I'm going to be uploading one on Arena tomorrow. So you can watch both or watch that, whatever. Um, two announcements that are pretty exciting. Actually, three. Um, the first is, hopefully you can hear, I've improved the audio. I kind of soundproofed my whole room, so there should be less echo. Um, the second is this video is up in 4K resolution for those who can watch that. If not, you can still watch all the other resolutions. And the last one is I wrote my own editor to completely remove all the silence in the videos. Um, this is my first time testing it, so there might be some issues. So please just let me know, like if you see something go a little haywire or something, leave me in the comments so I know to fix that. But it should be much shorter and much more fast paced. Um, so let's get into the packs. Let's see. Ooh, I already see two exciting things. So we have two Ashiok Dream Render. That's amazing. So, spells your abilities control can't cause their controller to search their library. That doesn't matter. What does matter is this is a three mana card that mills your opponent for four and exiles them. And you can do it five times. So, this mills 20 over the course of a few turns. Like, if you play this turn three and protect it a little bit, you just win the game. So, having one would be good. Having two is pretty absurd. Plus, we have Kane, Kaya. Um, your impermanence, you can, opponent's control with hexproof can be the target of spells or ability. Okay. And she can kill two creatures. That's pretty good. Cruel Celebrant seems all right. Dope and Speedo. I guess I should sort by rarity, right? Usually that's how I start. Uh-oh. Uh, we got Fimble Dope, so that's pretty good. Basically, uh, blue Elvish Visionary. Um, I can't imagine us getting it from our library like Soul Diviner. That seems pretty bad. Hmm. So right now our blue black is looking pretty solid. Um, so this depends on creatures and this card is really powerful I think. Put nine counters on a land and this is an instant. So if you have an untapped land, so this basically costs six. Um, you cast it, target the land, make a nine nine. You can block and then untap and attack them or just hit them for nine haste. Like that's pretty good. Ooh, Arlen seems good. So in Feather, what do you do? You're a three mana three four flyer, which is good. And this is only if you pump your own creatures, which is kind of marginal, but it's good. I'm not sure about Solar Blaze, but I guess we'll put those in. I'm going to put like two different decks here because I think the fixing in this format is good. I guess we'll find out. Okay, sort by color now. Oh yeah, look, we got two mana geodes. We can do whatever we want. The top, wait, we don't have any fixing lands? I mean, we can't do whatever we want. Um, okay, so I'm probably going to look at blue-black first because... I think Ashiok is real powerful. So, Wall of Runes, maybe. Ooh, Bounce and Mass 1 I like. This card has no text. Okay, Proliferate Draw card, why? <laughs> I mean, it's a cool altar and stuff, but uh... <laughs> um, Red Visionary, Draw card then Discard seems good. Lazatep Plating, maybe. I'm not sure. Exile Target, Permanent you control, return the card to the battlefield. If it's a creature, it enters with a counter, maybe. I like even Eternal. So this is a 3 mana 2-2 two, two flyer, which is already like a good base rate. And then it has a mass 1. So it's like 3 power for 3 mana and it has flying that's really good. Jace's Triumph. Ooh, Divination. Spellkeeper weird, maybe. Stealth Mission. Probably not. Crush Descent. Counter target spell. Well, we don't have any interaction right now. Ooh, draw cards, draw cards. Again, a card without art. Oh, I like that. So this is a four mana two three flyer. And this is a four mana three two flyer that bounces a permanent. Wow, they can reset the planeswalkers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have like Ashiok on one and you don't want to kill her, you can play Rescuer Sphinx, return Ashiok to your hand, and then recast and it comes back at five. So that seems pretty good. And it's sealed totally lost is kind of nice. Come on, removal. Banehound, not good and sealed. Ooh, get back creatures and planeswalkers, okay. Uh, I don't know if that's good. The two mana one, two. It's a good end game, but I think our end game's already pretty good. Five mana, five, four. Well, we don't have any removal. <laughs> All right, um, that's exciting. So honestly, black is looking pretty medium. I guess Cruel Celebrant, probably not good. Let's see how good the white is. Defiant Strike, not gonna do that. Ooh, okay, Law Rune Enforcer is basically removal. This card is amazing, so it's one mana to tap a creature. You can just do it every turn, so I like that. Gideon's Triumph, they sacrifice a creature, I like that. Put a plus one plus one counter and first strike, you gain two life. Maybe. I, I do like that. Oh yeah, that's good. Pouncing Lynx. I'm not really going to be attacking, but Worst Creature seems good. Topple the statue. Mmm, maybe. Four mana, three, three. Vigilance. 
I don't think that's good enough. Okay, so our white's like okay. Um, and then our red, do we have any removal here? Next time is a target creature. Uh, let's sort group creatures separately. So how many instance sorceries do we have? Because this could actually be good removal if we have enough spells. Maybe. Turret Ogre. Wow, what? This is a 4 mana 4-3 four, reach that also hits the opponent. That is very pushed. This card seems very solid. Um, probably not playing Demolish. Honor the God Pharaoh. So it's loot. Get one, maybe. Uncrop Invader. That's good for attacking. Uh, oh, I kind of like Temple's Rager. Stone Blades is okay. Oh wow, Jai's Greeting's good. Heart Fire. Maybe. And probably not playing Burning Prophet. Okay. And then we have... Some Artifact or Enchantment Destruction. I like Crunch Wrangler. Reveal a permanent card. Yeah, that card's fine. Snare Spinner. 2 mana 1 3 reach is good. Steady Aim. Don't really want that. Evolution Sage is very good. Each creature with a plus 1. Oh wow, that's good too. Oh yeah, that keeps you alive. Thundering Ceratok is just huge. And Arlen Voice of the Pack. Yeah, that seems good too. Okay. Um, Iron Bully. 3 mana 1 1 Menace. And when it enters the battlefield, put a counter on a creature. All right. And then green, we have Vivian, who can find creatures for us. Right now we have 19, but <laughs> it's kind of like all of them. Okay, so this is fully five colors here. Um, I think that's most of our good cards. All right, we're going to add that, that, and I guess these. Uh, yeah, that's most of our good cards. I don't think you want to be, like, super aggressive. Stealth Mission could be solid, but... Again, I don't really want to be attacking our opponent too much. So now let's kind of filter through and see what we like from these cards. So Mana Geode does tap for mana of any color, but it's not super great. I don't think I want Battlefield Promotion. Combat tricks are better in Draft. Sealed is more about the bombs. Um, this is kind of hard because our white, mm, that's not super good. Our white is basically only good for these Law Rune Enforcers. But that doesn't even deal with opposing Planeswalkers. And the worst creatures are fine, but we're not really aggressive. Um, yeah, Feather's double white, so that's not happening. Okay, so there's that. Now for red. Three damage of target creature, scry one. I mean, that's really good. The turret ogres, I think, are powerful, but it's looking like we're not going to be base red at the very least. So probably not running them. Um, I'm going to probably just not play red and then i think if i do splash red it'll be for these two cards but we'll see how that goes um the silver wing is pretty medium if we have cards to cut i could see cutting that cruel celebrant so probably not playing dovin's veto it's pretty hard to cast so if we are playing white i guess we could just mm, this card's really good so you can just use this to remove counters from planeswalkers and draw a card or like for, it, it's really good with a mass token so if you have like a 4-4 mass creature you can just keep drawing cards off of it, and that's really, really good. Or like, play 1-1 one, one a mass, chump block with it, remove a counter, draw a card. I think that seems really good. Um, I think our main game plan is just draw into Ashiox. This might be too many Tamiyo's Epiphanies. <laughs> and maybe... I kind of need this in the deck, because again, we don't have any removal. I don't think I like that. Unless I see an opponent with a lot of uh, kill spells. Proliferate, draw a card. That might be a bit slow. We'll see though. Uh, Spellkeeper Weird is a 3 mana 1 4. Oh, yeah, we can loop Spellkeeper Weird and aid the Fallen. I do like that. Mm. So, green seems really good. I'm tempted to just cut white, and then we're basically blue green. Problem is, Kaya is a really hard splash, but I think she's really good. Because we, we basically have no removal, and Kaya, plus all like our proliferate stuff, like we can cast her. And we just want to run, wanna run one Aid the Fallen. Because we want Soul Diviner, so we definitely want to be in black. So I guess we can play Kaya off of our black cards. Or we could be in white and just run like these dudes. This is actually pretty tough. I like the Looter. Even Eternal's good. Sphinx gets counters, which is good with all of our proliferate. Oh, and our creatures can tap for mana of any color. Okay, so we're, we're fine. We got quite a few ways, so now we need to cut stuff. Um, maybe this is a bit slow. We're already running uh, Divination and Double Epiphany, so I think that's okay. Thunder Drake, yeah, that's fine. I like Evolution Sage. Vivian gives us creatures. We have 12, so that's kind of a lot. Enter the 
from your library. No. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it a bit more and come back when I have like a finished deck, and we'll see how the mana looks. All right, so here's what I've come up with. Um, I decided we probably have to cut Kaya. She's awesome. I think this card's super super powerful, but she's triple black, and black is our splash color because our black is not particularly good. Um, I'm gonna look at replacing green with white, I guess, as my next option because that could be good and then if we replace green with white then we can run kaya so here's the first configuration it's basically blue green splashing aid the fallen because i think the only way we're winning is with ashiok and aid the fallen plus spellkeeper weird means you can use spellkeeper weird to get back aid the fallen and then aid the fallen gets back weird plus a planeswalker so Ashiok. So even if like we don't have good defenses, we could just play Ashiok, use it, it dies, get it back, play it, use it, it dies. So that's not the worst game plan. And then we have a decent amount of mana to try and hit our black splash and some pretty sweet uh, interaction. I really like the fact that Vivian lets you cast creatures with flash, which is real nice with Rescuer Sphinx. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, like bounce block a thing or something like that. So there's the first configuration, and then I'm gonna look at adding these Law Rune Enforcers and War Screecher, but I don't think it's going to be as good as our green because like Evolution Sage is busted, this is busted, this is really good. Yeah, and Arlen is, she just makes a bunch of creatures and they have counters, which is good with our Proliferate. Uh, oh, maybe this should be in the deck. We'll, we'll look at it a bit more. All right, welcome to round one. Uh, I don't know if we're on the play or the draw. We're on the draw. We have fiveled up into Ashiok. I'm gonna keep. I think basically, I gotta make these oh, it's as big as I get. All right, no upkeep and draw. I was playing opposition in Legacy Cube. <laughs> That's why those stops. Um, but basically, if we could keep her alive, that's game. Like, I, this seems so good in sealed. Ooh, Evolution Sage? Okay, so we need to hit our green source, but we should get there. We have, I think, seven forests plus the Mana Geode and a bunch of card draw. Vampire Opportunist. Oh man, Fibble looks real good against that guy. I think the card's fine. Uh oh, Terry's Time Twist. Yeah, right. like Fibble Dip. Okay, perfect. So. Um, almost certainly just gonna play Ashiok and start down ticking. And then we can go Evolution Sage plus land. And then Ashiok just mills them forever. That seems pretty good. All right, opponent attacks, we definitely block. Uh, actually, I think I take it. This feels like they have a combat trick or something. Like, why else would you do that? And I think our life total doesn't matter that much. I think saving Ashiok from the future attacks matters. Oh, that's good. One man of any color, sure. The death touch is pretty problematic. Okay, let's go Forest, Ashiok, yeah. Um, hmm. They have a kill spell for Fribble Dip, Ashiok dies, but that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Start milling you, see what we exiled here. Bonds of Revival, that's good. Okay, they have two Vampire Opportunists. Okay, so they're playing a lot of colors here. And we'll keep back Fribble Dip to block. Then we can follow it up with a Centaur Nurturer, maybe. And basically my game plan is to bait them into swinging all out at Ashiok next turn, right? Because we're going to Fimble it block on the Vampire Opportunist. Then we're going to use Ashiok. Then we're going to Teferi's Time Twist. Ashiok, after they attack her, get her back up to five loyalty. Ooh. <laughs> this feels so dirty. Okay, so we have to keep her alive. So we're going to block here. If they have a combat trick, that's fine. But it, it really feels like, oh, they really wanted to trade their 2-1 for my 1-1 one, one before? Okay. What is this? Look at top card of your library. If it's a creature or planeswalker, you can put it in your hand. All right. That's not so bad. So what do we do now? So we mill our opponent. Um, so I can go with the Teferi's Time Twist play. But I kind of want to use all of my mana here because they probably only attack... Ashiok with one. Um, I could go Evolution Sage plus land, but Ashiok still dies. Yeah, I think I just have to go with the Time Twist game plan. Excel target permanent you control. Return that card to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, let's do that. Opponent's stuck on mana too, so... You know, I think they have to play around a kill spell here. And then next turn, I think we play Sage plus land. Get Ashiok back up to five. Man, this is so mean. I don't feel bad, but I feel a little bad. Okay. Opponents, no, no, no. Let's see how they attack. I want to see both attack Ashiok. They're sending one. Come on, man. Okay, well, we can still do this. And it's not a creature, so it doesn't get the counter, but that's fine. This, uh, this card's good. This card's very, very good. 
Yep, so we take two, they gain two, but I'm not that worried about it. Opponent's just passing turn. Oh, what do we exile with our last? Vraska, Swarm Queen, make a 1-1 one, one Black Assassin with Death Touch. She seems really good too. A bunch of lands, all right. Ooh, Erratic Visionary, so we can double spell this turn. That seems good. All right, so Ashiok, exile you. Prismite, Centaur Nurturer. Oh, they have God Eternal Ronus. That's a good card. Play Evolution Sage. And I might honestly just trade the Sage for one of their creatures. We'll find out soon. The counter on Ashiok. Done. We'll play the Visionary. And Spellkeeper Weird we're going to play next turn. And that can get back to Fairy's Time Twist to buy even more counters on Ashiok. <laughs> oh, man. Like, what does opponent even do here? I guess, like, a kill spell on Ashiok would be bad. Kill that in exile, okay. That's rough, but not the end of the world. Uh, the question now is, do we protect Ashiok? I mean, they kind of have to swing with both. I guess we get a free block with the 1-3 on the 2-3, so it's not, I guess it's not that hard of a question. <laughs> All right, opponents move to combat. Probably just swinging with the Leyline Prowler, I would imagine, and that's fine. Then Ashiok takes a hit and falls to three. Then we play the Spellkeeper weird. Or I guess we play Aven Eternal. That gives us a chump blocker. Hmm, I kind of like that. All right, opponent's tagging both at Ashiok. So we block here, as is expected. Don't have a pump spell. Interesting. Okay, Ashiok falls to three. She down to 12 cards. So we're kind of all in on protecting this Ashiok here. Um. Oh, we have enough mana to do everything. Nice. Okay, so we can go Aven Eternal and Spellkeeper weird. Nice, nice. And that gives us a pretty good chump block, um, plus a double block on the Grizzly if it attacks, because we just block with a 1-4 in the, or I guess just regular block, 1-4 on 2-3. And then this blocks the Leyline Prowler, probably, because our game plan is just to Spellkeeper weird, get back Time Twist, um, use Ashok this turn, put our opponent down to 7 cards, then they're going to draw down to 6, use Ashok, they're down to 2, and that's just... They have a lot of Vivian's Grizzlies, so three, or yeah, three toughness creatures are pretty good against our opponent here. Makes less as cruelty. Their deck does not look particularly good. Minus this Vraska looks real nice. Okay, so the opponent is attacking Ashiok with the 2-3. I'm just going to chump block here. I think that's the safest play. Um, it has Death Touch, so I don't, like, if I risk a double block and they, like, pump it or something, they just kill both my dudes. 5-3 Hexproof, sure. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so all right well mill them for four they can spend their whole turn uh no i need to get that back and i guess i attack with the haven eternal no reason not to right they go down to six yeah because i have to spend two to crack this and then spend two to cast the time twist and now they're in a really bad spot because if they don't attack ashiok then i just use her ability Basically, I think they cannot win. What do they also have? Vivian? Thundering Ceratok. So their deck is like all creatures plus two cruelties, which I'm really sad I don't have any. This card might be the best common. I haven't looked at all the commons, but this card seems way, way pushed. I think Wizard said they wanted to increase the power level of commons and uncommons, and they, they definitely have. This is like mythic level power. It's not like super busted, right? It only has one ability, which is mill them. And you need to like protect the queen to keep it alive because your opponent can just attack it and then the ability is not that good. But if you're doing what I'm doing, it's pretty mean. All right, opponent now is moving to combat and is like, I, what do I even do? <laughs> um, I think I'm going to block the 5-3. Attack me, attack me, attack me. Sure. So we're going to block here. We take four, and we're just going to get back, obviously, Time Twist. And I think I'm going to Time Twist the Ashiok. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I want to double mill them. Yeah, I'll just Time Twist the Ashiok now. It seems fine. Okay, blocks go through. Let's get this back. So we take four, and we need to put a stop in their main phase um, so that we can use this. Because there's, there's no reason to do it during combat. They weren't attacking Ashiok, but... I want to know if they play something else. What is this? Choose any number of target creature or planeswalker cards. So they get Heretic Visionary, Spellkeeper Weird, and Fibbledip. So they draw a card. Oh, doesn't that just put them dead on board? Right, because they draw down to five, Ashok mills them for four. I think that puts them dead on board. I mean, it's cool. It's not a May, right? Yeah, so... No, 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 I guess... No, it doesn't put them down on board. I mean, they are dead. They just don't know it. Because I have two. 
So they have more Thundering Ceratox, Dust Mantle Operative, play this one, choose an Ashiok to keep, the one I just played. Nil your last card, play this, pass turn, they die. Sweet, okay, so I think our game plan's good against them. Um, Honestly, Wall of Runes blocks a lot of their creatures. I'm gonna bring it in. It's kind of bad, or maybe Snare Spinner's, did I, I didn't see any flyers, Never mind. Snare Spinner's pretty bad. Yeah, I think I like Wall of Runes, Iron Bully's not really necessary. What do I cut for this bad boy? Like the Spellkeeper weird. Could cut the Mana Geode. I don't really need it. Yeah, that's not the worst game plan. Like Erratic Visionary. Eh, eh, we'll, we'll run it back. Again, it's like that card would be good to bring in, but all the cards in my deck are great, so I don't need it. So I'm not gonna use it. Um, So we have Cow's Dismissal to bounce something in mass one. And then Zhang Yu, however you say that, can then capitalize on that. I think I'm going to keep. If we can ramp into Arlen with this board state, like Arlen makes wolves that tap for mana. That seems pretty good. I don't have any other wolves or werewolves, but I think this, this is a pretty good start. Did opponent mulligan? They mulled a five? Well, you know, if you mulligan to five, it does protect you against mill because you have more cards in your library. So that's a start. Ooh, Fibble Dip. Perfect draw, actually. Start with Island. Because now we can go Fibble Dip, hopefully hit a land, and then use Fibble Dip for mana. It'll also be a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Poor opponent. Like, he just came here to have fun, and I'm just, like, crushing his dreams. No, pay the mana! What are you doing? Okay. You scared me, man. Okay. Alright, Forest, Fibble Dip. And we drew the third land. Oh, man. Yeah, this isn't even close to fair. We can rescue our Sphinx to Fibble Dip. Or probably Rescuer Sphinx, the Jang Yangu, power two or less. All right. Um, so I don't really want to play this just yet because I play this, put a counter, and then they just kill it. So let's go with Aven Eternal, make a 1-1. One, one. And then next turn, I can play this guy, put a counter on Fibble Dip, and then have mana up to bounce this or whatever attacker they might have. And that seems pretty good. Yep. No plays from the opponent. Sweet. Let's go land. Um, hmm. I kind of want to play this guy so I can ramp into Arlen. Yeah, that just seems best. The counter on you. Just attack for two. Hold up the mana. Wow, no plays. Their hand must be going deep here. And we get to bounce this and make this into a 2-2. Two -two. It's pretty good for us, I think. So just making sure I cannot block. Okay, no blocks. It's a sorcery? Oh, everyone watching was like, well, obviously. Well, that's rough. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, part of playing a new set. <laughs> it's a sorcery, guys. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, we lost our Planeswalker. So, yeah, the correct sequencing would have just been bouncing on our turn. And then we could have played Arlen and had a bunch of mana. That would have been way, way better. Sorry, guys. Post-combat? Hmm, okay. Kind of weird. So... I think we have to draw a land, so we're gonna Jace's Triumph, try and hit a land, and then we can Callus Dismissal. I don't really want to bounce the Godronus, but I kind of have to. <laughs> Man, that was so rough. I guess I could also swing with the Aven Eternal. Actually, that seems pretty good. Yeah, let's just get it beats in the air. So we're gonna swing with the Aven Eternal, hit for two, and I'm just gonna play Rescuer Sphinx. I think we can race this pretty well. So we're gonna Rescuer Sphinx, bounce the Aven Eternal, and then we can chump block the 5-5 five five with our zombie army. Hit them for four in the air. Like, obviously this would be way better if we were just pumping out 3-3 three, three wolves that tap for mana, but I think we're still well on the way to win this game. Especially because we can just bounce one of these guys later on. Ah, that's a problem. Okay. Yep, so block here. Yeah. Because I want to make another 1-1 one, one a mass. Ideally we draw a land so we can go Aven Eternal plus bounce. Okay, good. Let's go forest, play Aven Eternal, S1. Um, kind of like bouncing this guy. I don't want to bounce their 5-5. Five five. And now we have a 2-2 two -two there. Swing with Fibble Dip. I guess I should have uh, not let them know all the things I was going to do before I attacked, but um, we're going to gain three life off the Nurturer. The Thundering Ceratok is going to be huge. This race is going to be kind of close. We're taking five off of the Ronis, and this card basically just never dies. All right. We, we got ourselves our game. Take the five. Land there would have been pretty clutch. Um, Jace's Triumph is a pretty risky play. Probably Thundering Ceratok is the best play here. And 
just swing. Hmm. Do I even attack? Is this death touch? The problem is leaving him with that is pretty bad. I guess I attack. We chump block the god Ronus with a zombie army. And then Thundering Ceratok can eat Arlen's Wolf. Unless they have the plus two plus O and indestructible card. That would be pretty rough. Because then Wolf tr like just eats the Ceratok. We're left with just an Aven Eternal. Yeah, I don't like that. I guess we could time our opponent out. <laughs> we'll mill them out, time them out. Okay. So just that attack implies they don't have Obnixilis' Cruelty. What if I just take it? Uh, no, I'll just chump block here. I think gaining five is fine. The longer this game goes, the better it is for me because we have Jace's Triumph, Arlen Voice of the Pack, Centaur Nurture to gain the life back. Bonds of Revival. Sure. All right, well, we hit our land, which is good. So let's play Arlen, make a wolf. We can make a lot of wolves here. No attacks. I imagine if they had the Cruelty, they would have cast it last turn. So I'm not gonna play around that. If they had, yeah, like I said, if they had the plus two plus zone indestructible, this would have attacked. So I don't think they have any tricks. Maybe I should have attacked with Aven Eternal, but I think keeping Arlen alive is pretty worth it. Cause now like their only attack is maybe God Ronus. All right, what does this do? Plus two plus two and gain. Okay, so it's just like overrun without the trample though. That's good. So me, me, and me, and cannot be blocked by Thundering Ceratok. So I can trade here, take four. I guess I can double block here, that's not so bad. We take seven, we fall to two, but then our opponent has one creature left. Yeah, that actually seems okay. And they can destroy artifacts or enchantments. Next turn, Center Nurture puts us up to a safe life total. I think Sorn's Turst Thirst can hit players, but I'm not sure. Oh, they're killing the 3-3, three, three. okay. Oh man. So we're gonna make a wolf. Jace's Triumph into Evolution Sage and hopefully draw a land. That seems pretty good. Evolution Sage, play a land. This and this. And now I might just double block the God Ronus. I'm gonna keep all my guys back. I think the late game's so good for us here. Like it has Death Touch, yes. But now they don't have creatures, so playing it isn't super scary. And we have at least one proliferate left, so Arlen can just keep making wolves for a really long time. And the wolves will grow every turn. Like, this card is... This card is mean, man. <laughs> huh. The opponent was gone for a long time. This is actually the reason I didn't live stream this, is... I don't know if you guys saw my last uh, pre-release event, um, but my opponent just rage quit and waited a bunch of time. And I think this opponent's basically doing the same thing. So I'm gonna double block. I think that's fine. We're in such a good spot. Okay, Aronis is dead. And even if they lose this game, they just wasted so much time that they're not going to be able to win game three in time. Three, two, okay. Oh man, this card is really, really good. The more I play with it, the better it is. So proliferate. 4-4, four, four, make it 3 thing, done. They sent our Nurturer. So that can actually cast our Soul Diviner. And we're just going to pass turn. So that card went 3rd from the top. So now it's 2nd from the top. Yep. This might. Hmm. Maybe I didn't want to kill that 5-5. Five, five. And I want to keep Arlen around for one more turn here. Ooh, Thunder Drake is good. So we're going to go Thunder Drake, Soul Diviner off the Centaur Nurturer. And if we hit a land, proliferating all that's going to be busted. Oh, they uh, rage quit again. So that's the game. Welcome to round one. This is my biggest issue with, I think, pre-release events. Maybe I should be doing the competitive leagues. But yeah, maybe I should be doing the competitive leagues. This is the friendly Swiss sealed league, which I like the, it has a better prize payout. All right, so see you guys next round. All right, welcome to round two. What I meant to say at the end is that the friendly Swiss sealed league has a better expected value. Um, the prize payout is lower. That makes sense. So are we on the player draw? That needs to be like somewhere up here. So they're going first, we're on the draw. We need to hit a blue source. I think I'm gonna mulligan, especially with the London mulligan. Hmm. This seems like it's worth the keep. I still need to hit a blue, but I at least have two lands. And I'm gonna put back contentious plan because pretty bad. Yeah. If I hit a blue, I can just play Jace's Triumph and that's fine. And I don't really have anything to proliferate, so. All right, sweet. Um, the shark's good. <laughs> a little hard to cast right now, but that's fine. We're gonna hit an island this turn and everything's gonna be great. Ooh, okay, island. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I still defend this keep. I think we're running 10 blue sources. Plus, any land would have been good. I think we're running 17. An opponent just has the trifecta. All right. Well, we're only taking one. 
I think this game's still very winnable. If we miss a land next turn, uh, things get weirder. Huh? <laughs> Take one, and I'm just gonna play this if I hit a blue. Uh, okay. Um, guess we discard a Thunder Drake or the Time Twist. Maybe Time Twist, because that requires permanence in play. Like it's great, it's a good card, but yep. So the five three hex proof is a bit problematic. Come on! All right, well, we're gonna discard Tamio's Epiphany now. This is relatively unrealistic. Yep. So I think someone was putting up a discussion, maybe it was LSV, I don't know, about increasing the maximum hand size to avoid situations like this. Like, we're in a position where we're already so far behind because we don't have mana that, well, this card's good. I think we're dead. Target creature fights creature you don't control. Oh man, that's good. Yeah, okay, we're dead. But anyway, um, we're in a position where we're so far behind on mana that, you know, losing these cards just makes it that much more likely that we can't win the late game. Whereas if the maximum hand size was like eight, um, then you don't discard as quickly. We still have discarded the second time, but at least you end up with more cards in your hand in the end game. All right, we're, we're gonna move on. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's actually a good idea, but it's an idea, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, opponent's a little bit aggressive. But Wall of Runes does not block their 5-3. Yeah, we didn't really even see how well our deck performed because we didn't cast a single spell. All right, going first. Nope, the one swamp. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I kind of like this. Let's keep... Oh, I got to get rid of one. Hmm, maybe Arlen because it's six mana. I like Arlen Cord, but I think our current game plan is to... It depends on how much pressure they present, Um, but kind of like getting down one of these two. Vivian into Avon Eternal is kind of cool. What is this? Why are we just getting got right now? One that's going up to three mana. And the O3 reach is actually relevant against Avon Eternal. All right, well, we might just be dead. <laughs> Pass turn. Hopefully no Domri comes down this turn. What is going on? No land. Oh, man. Of note, this card does not have Defender. I think we're just going to start doing this. Pretty good against a mana screwed opponent. What do you got? Yes! Yes! There is justice. What is this? Wow, we hit probably their best card. And then three lands. I love it. Okay, so... I'm gonna save targets here. I'm not gonna be milling myself. Mostly I want to find out more about their deck. We've had... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they have two? Wow. Alright, that, that's the same mill twice in a row. That's absurd. Um, let's play Vivian. Just down tick. Excel one face down. You may cast it if it's a creature card. Okay, so that one's going there. Really wanted to hit a creature, but now we can play Aven Eternal, I guess. Nice. Game down. I'd run it back. Maybe we'll play a game where we both get to cast spells. We'll see, though. Ooh, that's good. So they went first. Nice. I'm going to keep this hand. Um, we don't have that many hits with Vivian, but still a great card. <laughs> All right. Opponent is ramping with the Grazer. I'm pretty happy to see our opponent play a one mana O3. Contentious plan. Okay, so I'm gonna save that until after we do all of this. Um, then we get a 2-2 and a pump on Vivian. Depending, if they do, oh no. What is going on here? Yeah, now that they're missing land drops, we're gonna play the late game. Wow, they hit the trifecta. Domri? Yeah, Domri's rough. Hmm. And the Grazer, I don't know if they realize it doesn't have Defender. I don't think they do. So let's go with Vivian. They might learn an attack with Ashok next turn. Green's Vigilance and Reach. Problem is Vivian doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, let's just start Ashioking. If they don't realize this can attack, then we get at least two activations off Ashiok. Oh, what is their deck? They have two Hydras, Sarkin, Domri. Nice deck, opponent. Yeah, hopefully they don't see that they can attack, and then we can play this to try and block. Because their hand's full of stuff, and they could play the Hydra this turn, that it's just going to be like an 8-8 trample, and then we die. Even the turn off. Oh, that's good. It's a good card. Don't attack with this. Attacking Domri. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, they figured it out. Okay. I still think it was worth it. Holy cow, that's a lot of land. So, Museum Tank. Wow, their deck is really good. Okay, so what are we going to do? Forest, even Eternal. They can fight... Their zombie on my Aven Eternal with Domri and then kill Ashok with a flyer. But they probably don't even need to do that. What is this? Creatures you control have menace? Ah! Okay. Goodbye, Ashok. 
now they fight Domri onto the Aven Eternal and I'm left with a 1-1. Yeah, this could have gone better. We'll put it that way. We drew just, just a bunch of lands. Ashiok, me, me. So we take five. This card seems really, really, really good. No blocks on the menace dudes. Wait, what? I thought, I swear we put this on the bottom. When did we shuffle? I don't think we did. All right, well, that's something. Play Vivian, just down tick. Okay, I'll take that. And I could contentious plan to make this a 2-2 two -two and make this into a 3, but I kind of want to save that for Arlen Corn tokens. We already have evolution saves though, let's do it now. I kind of want to kill their planeswalkers. That's a lot of land. Um, we attack Angrath. <sighs> this is not good. I think I have to attack Angrath because their 4-3 can become much, much bigger. We're taking four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're actually just dead next turn to basically anything because menace means we just can't block, right? They go dormry, kill this. I guess we have to draw a creature off Vivian. Yep. Actually, Vivian dying means we, what are they, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically can survive next turn. Nope, we super dead. I mean, yeah, I guess if opponent's mana works out, their deck is amazing. They should have done that pre-combat, but it's fine. Take Domri. <laughs> yeah. Thundering Ceratok. Can make this into a 3 3. We're just dead. We're, we're so far dead. We're going to move on to round three. See you guys around three. All right, we're going to go first for sure. What are these hands? We're going to not keep that. Hmm. Frantic vis Visionary means this is capable, I think. We're going to keep this. Probably just do away with Vivian. I think she's not that great in this deck. With more creatures and where like the vigilance and flash matters more probably but like we're just gonna play a visionary and protect ashiok that's been our most consistent route to victory here Ooh, double ashiok if we hit an island oh man crunch wrangler ha Teferi's time twist that's good so i want to hit a land so i am going to do this now Rule of the lost hmm I guess I discard this. All these cards are great. Maybe I don't need double Ashiok. Yeah, actually that seems fine. If I don't hit blue for a while, Ashiok can be a liability. Uh-oh, yep, come on, land. There we go. And it's an island, so... This is a little suspect because if they have a removal spell, Ashiok dies, but it if they don't, it's so good. Vivian's Grizzly, a lot of those. We hit a Callous Dismissal, I guess I should have thought of that. Yeah, I think we need the high risk plays like this. So they make this a 2-3, 3-3, three, three, three. they just attack Ashiok for 3, yeah that, seems, that works for me, um, I could block, but I think I'm just going to take it, Ashiok falls to 1, if we hit a land then we can go Evolution Sage, land, proliferate, did not want to see Arlen, <laughs> um, we have to hit a land here, so I'm going to go with Fibble Dip, it's a good blocker and we just, we have to hit a land, okay, there's a land, so, I kind of like holding up looting plus time twist. And we have good blocks. 5-3. Oh, a bit problematic. We're going to take some damage, but Ashiok stays around. Hopefully they attack her with a 3 power. No attacks. Okay, so let's do this. She comes back. Oh, exile you. Crocodile. Ooh, Kazmina's good. I like that card. We can go with Centaur Nurturer. That blocks a lot of their cards, plus it gains life. Not bad. It's possible we should have just used the time twist on Fibble Dip. Oh no. Well, those are big boys. We can chump block though. That's a 5-5 five, five and a 5-4. Yeah, those are big. Ashiok, Ashiok, Ashiok. So keeping her alive is basically not possible. And we did discard the other one. I would have to triple chump to keep Ashiok alive. It's not worth it. I think we, we're not doing that. Um, we could trade Fibble Dip and a centaur nurture for a creature or i guess we could double block this crocodile with these two but nah we're just gonna take it there's a land so we could just jam arlen or we can callous dismissal one of their five fives play evolution sage and then play a land and then set up for arlen so if we play arlen right now what happens we play arlen we make a three three this blocks this chumps this chumps i think this plays better bounce you you have a counter spell? Oh no. That's not good. Well played opponent. Okay, well, I think we're dead. <laughs> we're gonna play Evolution Sage. Um, 
We were going to try and proliferate the token, but we're just going to take so much damage now. We basically need to draw, like, I don't really know what else is in our deck here. Um, yeah. Opponent's got some things. Their deck looks super busted. Blue-green proliferate looks real good. How much damage is this? 13, 20. We could go to one life, right? 14, 20. But they have a 4-5 flying trample, so that seems bad. <clears throat> I guess we kill this. So this 6-6 six, six can kill both of these. I don't think we can do that. I think we just chump the 7. Take like 10 million damage. And hope for something. <laughs> We're dead. Let's turn... We can maybe get like a surprise block with our 9-9, nine nine, but we're taking four in the air. We're gonna block this. Chump chump. Okay, maybe it's possible. If they have like literally nothing, it's possible. Three, four, five. Do this. Block here. Um, can we survive? We're taking four in the air, so I guess I have to just double chump. We're taking four, five, six. We fall to two. Okay. Fighting the good fight. Yep. Moving on. So their blue-green stuff. Totally lost seems good against the proliferate nonsense. And I kind of need some type of interaction against them. Steady aim doesn't do a whole lot. They had just the one flyer. So I don't think that's super necessary. And then cards to cut. Probably aid the fallen is just not particularly necessary. Um, and then I need to cut one more. Probably Vivian's just not that good. Yeah, I'll run it like that. Like, Vivian's fine, but in a deck with only 10 creatures, she misses so often that it's just not worth it, I don't think, for this particular configuration. Like, in the opponent's deck, Vivian would be amazing. All right, hoping for a better game. Gonna go first. All right, well, we gotta hit lands at some point. Okay, okay. We need to draw stuff, but Jin Yang versus Evolution Sage plus Centaur Nurturer, pretty good. Keep this. And I guess I have to put Forest on the bottom, lead on Forest. That extra land, it hurts to put back, but center and nurture has got to be good. And we'll, we'll hit more lands. There we go. Yep. So they just get a two mana two two. That card seems really good. Let's go with the sage. <clears throat> go ahead. Two two death touch. It's a bit problematic. Ooh, Arlen coming down next turn. Okay. The counter here. Four three. Play a land. Proliferate this and this. Now oh, I'm doing what your deck does. And I think it's worth it just to keep the 5-4 as a blocker. Um, they can hit this for 2, but if we... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... New Horizons. There's a battlefield, put a plus 1, plus 1. Hmm, interesting. I kind of want to block now, because otherwise we lose this. Like, Evolution Sage is amazing, but if I block, they just have no pressure. Although I could just start attacking with my 5-4, but then they just trade anyway, so... I think trading now is in our best interest. Yep, contentious plan makes it 3-3. Three, three. I think they should have done that pre-combat. That's weird. Because they could have just killed this. Do we play the Nurturer? Make it bigger. Press turn. So now, even if they proliferate, we can block the Pollen Bright Druid. Yeah, I think keeping this guy around is worth it. Also, all of our tokens can tap for mana with Arlen Cord. Don't be the flyer. Okay, we can beat that. With any land. Thunder Drake. Hmm. Don't really want to Callous Dismissal the Pollen Bright Druid. We have one, two, three, four, five mana. So not quite six. I think we just jam Thunder Drake and make it bigger this turn. I have two good blockers. And Thunder Drake's just gonna keep growing. Next turn we can double spell. Come on. <laughs> the card's like unbeatable. Fortunately we can double block it, but this is gonna die. Well, actually their attacks are not that amazing. And it's only when it dies they double proliferate, but bouncing that card seems really suspect. Attacking him. So I can trade away Thunder Drake, but then I basically have no way to deal with this. So I think I let this die. Because Thunder Drake's gonna keep getting bigger. Spellkeeper weird, yes. And the dismissal is just pretty bad, so we'll play the visionary. Make Thunder Drake into a 4-5. That way we can block. Pass turn, and we'll take the seven if they attack with the crocodile, but we basically, we have to have this. I think this is our only out to roll-esque. Yeah, like we, we need this to beat all these flyers. I wonder if I should cut the callous dismissal. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> That's good. So they have a, an eight six hex proof. Deal. Take an eight. But one card in hand, and if we hit a land, 
we can Arlen Arlen now. Three, four, five, six. Yep, play Arlen. It's really sketchy, like a wolf, but if Arlen stays around, we have a shot. I don't I don't think this card's staying around, but <laughs> come on. <laughs> This is like constructed level proliferate deck. Yep. All right, so Arlen's dying for sure. They have a 9-7 hex proof. We can mean attacking Arlen. Hmm. We take nine, I guess. You have more? You can't have more. You have more. Oh, and it lets you get more stuff. Okay. Island. So I can loot that away. I think I have to callous dismissal their zombie army. I don't know how I'm winning this. I need to make this big by casting multiple spells. I can't even target the hexproof guy. And all of these are terrible to target. So I guess we just kill our zombie army. And then we're holding up looting or activating. But they have a 6-7... 6-7 <laughs> six, seven, <laughs> six, seven trample on another target. I guess we kind of just have to bounce it. The problem is then they get an 11-9. And we don't have any way to kill an 11-9. Wait, do we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, I think this is our best out here. No, because this has to tap. No, 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 we're fine. So we we do this, get back Callous Dismissal. Yeah, okay, play this. As much as it pains me, we gotta bounce this 6-7. This becomes a 5-6, and we have a 2-2. Two, two. We can block the, assume the 11-7 that they make with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's, ugh, we're gonna lose all of our guys exactly. <sighs> yep, look, it's it's a chance. I'm not saying it's the best position to be in but it is a position yep <laughs> hmm. okay oh they're just setting up for next turn great it is a blocker go it's not looking pretty guys it's not looking pretty this opponent's deck is busted um is that a flying two this does not have flying but now they have lethal flying damage right all right let's find something Oop. crush descent right on time so they just attack in the air and we die. I mean, they just swing out and we die. Fog would be kind of funny. We have 8, 9, 10, 11, 17. We have very close to lethal on the swing back. They hit another grizzly just because. Why can't I pass turn? Okay. So we just die in the air, right? This block's here and then we take 6. All right, we're dead. Good games, opponent. Good games. All right, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to continue playing, but I don't want this video to be too long so I can get it up right away. When the set releases so thanks for watching i will be uploading the pre-release on arena tomorrow and then draft comes out on saturday i believe so we're gonna start drafting a lot see you guys next time